we gonna get into, I mean, it's not important, but it's important, kinda. When it comes to sus moments with ATs, I've seen one compilation, but I'm fearing that uh, it gets worse. Um, I, it's because I've seen so many different messages and, and some of you say like, hey, when it comes to these moments, turn another way, nigga. A lighthearted guide to ATs. I only know Hong Jung and Jung Ho, of course. And that's really it, bro. We're gonna do a lighthearted guide to ATs. Oh. What the fuck is wrong with so man? So man, what the fuck? Somebody gotta replace his batteries. First emoji is a horse. Okay, okay. Third emoji. Hold on, what was the? What was it? Oh shit! This ain't drop, is it? Is it? Huh? Somebody get Chan. This, he got dementia. Somebody. Nigga, <laughs> 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 I ain't finna find himself on a highway. <laughs> Did I tell you this is my motherfucking song? I cannot. Come on, Jesus. Bro, isn't the Ampan man like Mr. Potato Head cousin or some shit like that? Oh damn, hold on, hold on. That shit sounded really good. Bro, OSTs, bro. I haven't ran into a song for OST that I have not liked, bro. How they make these songs should be illegal. Oh my bro, this shit does not need to be this good, bro. Somebody just hit so like bro, this OST just said so we just bro, we need this song, just make a song, please. That's it. This nigga took it upon himself to make it one of the best OST songs out there. <laughs> 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 I, I feel guilty seeing this shit. Like I feel like um I feel like this this like, I feel like I shouldn't be viewing this. You know what I'm saying? I feel like like this is really into Hello there, this is a slight remake of my earlier AT's guide. Uh, a few things have been corrected and I've added a couple more new things that I wish I added in the last one. There's not much there's not much difference between them, so you don't need to have watched earlier one. But if you have watched that one and still come back to watch this version, thank you. This video or, or originally started out as a joke between me and my friends. So I'm keeping some of some of the tone I originally had when the video was just for them with the intent of making it a fun learn. Welcome, baby teeny. Appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? That should make me feel, you know, thank you. Welcome to a lighthearted guide to ATs. First, the very basics. ATs is an eight-member group formed under KQ Entertainment. KQ Entertainment. So that's like their big hit, their JYP, right? They debuted in 2018? I thought they were newer than that. They debuted in 2018? Yeah? They okay. debuted on October 24th, 2018. The members are Hong Jung, Sung Wah. Hong Jung, Sung Wah, Yun Ho, Minji or Mingi? Minji, San, as a matter of fact. And Hong Jung, if I'm not mistaken, that's like the leader. Th that's like ATs is like Bang Chan or like RM, right? That's like the leader. Hong Jung's like the leader, right? Okay, like the captain. The captain, okay? The captain, okay? <laughs> ATs. Bet. Yunho, Mingi, San, Yosong, Wu. So it's Mingi, not Minji. Young and Jongo. ATs fans are called ATs. We know that. To quote the ATs wiki, ATini is a contraction of ATs and Destiny. Oh damn! I didn't know that. I did not know that. I did not know that. ATs Destiny. I did not know that. That's tough. That's tough. And signifies that ATs future is together with their fans. Stuff about ATs. Their growth. Considering they're from one of the smaller labels in K-pop, their growth has been impressive. 
On the release day for their first album, they sold 430 copies. For the World, Episode 1, Movement, They sold 430 copies? Is that a lot? That's not, is that a lot? They surpassed 1.1. be real i thought I, I thought that that like they were saying like 4 30 like on some flex and shit i'm like mm, is that a lot 1.1 million pre-orders so from their debut which of course they shouldn't i mean they, obviously they shouldn't get that many sales but they got 1.1 million pre-orders oh my god oh my god so they sold 430 copies but before the before the shit even came out it was they already got 1.1 million. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. 1 million pre-orders. They got dat lore, baby. They got that. There's storylines in the MVs and straight up pages of story in the latest albums, starting with Fever Part 1. Without delving too deep, here's some basic stuff. There's time travel. There's alternate realities. Right. Dystopia. Help me out now. Shit. What that mean? What that mean? The opposite of utopia. <laughs> okay, I, 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 yeah, okay, I got you, got you, got you, got you. An imaginary place where people are unhappy and usually afraid because they are not treated just like the Hunger Games. Okay, that makes sense. And villains. Okay, that's While the dope. concept they debuted with was, with one word, pirates. Because I saw that in Kingdom too. They had the that big ship. I was kind of confused. While the concept they debuted with was, with one word, pirates. Okay, so that was the concept at first, pirates. The story and concept has evolved to include more sci-fi and supernatural elements. Listen, now look, this is going to be my first, like, a teeny, like, point out, right? Well, baby teeny, like, point out, right? Has evolved to include more sci-fi and supernatural elements. Was that, was that Halazia? The story and concept hold on, hold on, has evolved. This right here is this not from Halazia? To include more sci-fi and supernatural. And is this not from Halazia? Am I tripping? Let's go! No! 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 I got too excited! I got too damn excited! I got too excited! I got too excited! I told you that was Halazia. I told Halazia. I heard that, and when I first heard that, I'm like, damn, this a, this is a bop. Who would have known? <laughs> Who would have known? Natural elements. They usually hint at future songs at the end of their music videos, okay. like a post-credits. Allegedly, they don't have a dating ban. They do, however, have a ban against playing Mafia. They get too competitive. They don't have a dating ban? So they can date? Is that what that means? Or does that mean, like, like I don't, what the fuck does that mean, they, that they can date? So are they, like, public with it, though? Or are they still, like, private? Like, we don't know who they're with, you know what I mean? Well, it's better off private. Let me not even, yeah, let's not even talk about that. And one against jumping in public. Jumping in that public. That last one is this guy's fault. He gets excited. Eight makes one team. Yeah, that's that saying. That's that saying. This is their introduction in Teen Chant. Okay. Oh. They was playing bubblegum, bubblegum in a dish. That makes sense. That makes sense. But sometimes they just. Seven makes ah. Six makes one. So they do have like these little games. <laughs> but now, some individual introductions. Perfect, perfect. This is Hong Jun, okay. the captain of AT. The captain. Oh, it's Hong Jun is that guy. Struggle sometimes. <laughs> This <laughs> you think about it from five year old. Yo, this sounds familiar. <laughs> but the team loves. And he was dead ass serious. He was dead ass serious. It's giving Chan vibes for sure. The team loves and appreciates and him. And appreciates him. <laughs> AT songs are produced by a team at KQ, but Hong Jung is greatly involved in the making of their s Their songs are produced by a team at KQ, but Hong Jung is greatly involved in making of their songs. Songs. Okay. Fun facts. He's participated in several equality campaigns, like Happy Hippie. Happy Hippie? What the fuck? 
Happy Hippie Foundation is a nonprofit organization founded by Molly Cyrus. Our mission is to rally young people to fight injustice facing homeless youth, LGBTQ youth, and other vulnerable populations. Shout out, shout out Hong Chung and Miley Cyrus. And Polished Man. Okay. He wrote the song Thank You for Songwa, a song about being grateful for their friendship. He's the shortest. Okay, they didn't have to throw that in there. They didn't, have to, they didn't have to say that shit. Especially if the person that's saying it is not short, they didn't have to say that shit at all. It's cool. It's all right. So Hong Jung, okay, that's that's something I got to know. Hong Jung is the shortest, okay? He the shortest nigga in the group. He's short. All right, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Because I need to, I need to, I need to know this because I got to, and I knew I related to him on some way. It's, it's the, it's the shortness. I, that's the right there. It's the shortness. Giggle before his rap parts. Huh? <laughs> he laughs before his. <laughs> okay. Okay. This is Song Wah. Part He's Song the Wah. oldest and the. Song Wah is the oldest member in the. In the what? I'm not writing that shit down. He's the oldest. Song Wah is the oldest member. Let's get the fuck off this screen, though. The mom of the group, aka the responsible one and caretaker. the caretaker. So he's like, so he's like a Leno, like a mama Leno. Was supposed to debut as a rapper, but debuted as a vocalist instead. Yo, that's crazy. He's the mandatory ASMR enthusiast that every group seems to need. You think he's the mature one, but he's secretly weird. He can't throw rocks without being without being weird. <laughs> Why he moving like that though? He's moving like a salamander. Baby shark. With the tongue too? I don't know no sharks that stick out their tongue like that. This man loves Star Wars and Lego. He loves Legos, okay. Okay. His assigned persona is toothless. His assigned persona? What's a fursona? What the what the fuck is a fursona? Help me out now. Animal? It's like a skazoo. Okay, that's what I thought it was. Like a skazoo. Okay. Okay. This is Young Ho. Vocalist, a sweet boy, and the twisty energizer of the group, hyping them up when they're tired. According to the other members, Yunho is the weirdest one once you get to know him. He's the weirdest one? The first AT's introduction video I saw called him Yunho, and I guess it's because... Why is this... Why are these niggas laughing? Often called Golden Retriever because he's sweet and energetic. We said they were freaky. I didn't think it was like this though. <laughs> he and Mingi are friends since school. Mingi. They both auditioned without the other knowing and later met at KQ. This is Mingi. He's a rapper, writes lyrics for their. So Mingi is a rapper. Writes lyrics for their songs and is also part of the tall squad of the group. So he's tall. Okay. Yes, this is the guy that I said I love the dude voice. Yes, it's deep, but it got just something else to it. I'm gonna say, 
I'm going to say deep twang. Deep and raspy. Yeah, I don't know where the fuck I got twang from, but I was trying my hardest to make that shit sound good. Deep raspy sounds a lot better. Deep raspy sounds a lot better. I like his voice. It's different. It's different. This man just has an energy of doing embarrassing things. <laughs> but he's just so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> he is the smallest, biggest man. What does that mean? Big man with baby energy? <laughs> Big man with baby energy. <laughs> That's usually how it is, bro. Like, think Benny? Okay, makes sense. Makes sense. Makes sense. <laughs> the most intimidating ones be the, be the softest ones, bro. <laughs> Nicknamed Pink Princess. Pink Princess? Okay. That's fine. That's fine. You'll hear Fix On before his rap parts. God damn, he was sliding right there, wasn't he? Sue's behavior. <laughs> Is this nigga a golden retriever himself? Like, is he, is he a damn German Shepherd? Like, we don't even we can we can we, we can skip this part. Skinship? No problem. Come on, come on, come on, come on. This is Yo Song. Yo Song, Kang Yo Song. What the One hell? One of the more reserved and quiet ones. Quiet ones. <laughs> However, <laughs> so he's more reserved. He's more reserved. Okay. 수줍음이 많은 편이에요? 어, 내가 약간 I'm a little afraid of strangers. 가는 편이긴 한데 약간 너의 그 약간 눈빛이 조금 무서워. 아, 내 조금 무서워. Bro, what? 아, 내. Man. What? <laughs> Bro, he was just asking. <laughs> Man knows how to throw shade slash sass. I've been fuck, I've been talking for a long ass time. Like so I, I I need water. I've been talking for a long ass fucking time. Let's just let's just let's 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 not turn this into something it's not, please. <laughs> Bro, why did this why did this go back? <laughs> He's got a distinctive birthmark that fandom has expressed love for. And he's happy fans like it. That's actually fire. That's actually fire. That fandom has expressed love for. He's got a distinctive. Bro, that's actually fire. Birthmark that fandom has expressed love for. And he's happy fans like it. He doesn't know what's going on half the time. I ain't gonna lie, he looks, he looks, bro. That, that nigga scares me, bro. Cause it's like, it, he just seems, I'm, I'm not gonna say mean. I'm not gonna say mean. He just seems like he don't take no shit. You know, and, 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 and I feel like, you know, if say he were to ever come across one of my videos and say I say a joke, I think he's the type to really pull up on you and ask you nicely. So what the fuck was that about? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a little, I mean, you know what I'm saying? I'm a little, uh, hey. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? 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 He used to be a trainee at Big Hit before. Yo, he used to be a trainee at Big Hit before KQ Big Hit Entertainment, known as High Corporation, owns the label as TXT and BTS. Or KQ. That's crazy. That's crazy. This is San. 
like a sander. Come on, come on, hey, wow. One of my daddy. Okay, Chan Sun, Cho, Cho Sun. Sam. So he is who opens up uh, Answer. One of my favorite songs. He's a vocalist. Okay. I didn't mean to pause it right here, bro. I did not mean to pause it right here. Get your mind out the gutter, okay? And if you can't, go to sleep, okay? He's a vocalist with the sex appeal of a stripper and the behavior of a a five-year-old. Some members' first impression of him was that he was trying hard to act cute, but no, he's just like that. He's an official ambassador for his hometown Nam Ha. Oh, that's fire. That's fire. Along with Hong Jung and Sang Wah, San is part of what the fans call the demon line. The demon line? Y'all, what the fuck am I getting into, bro? What the fuck? What am I getting into right now? I ain't. What does the demon line mean? Do they got a Christian song? What the fuck is the demon line? Okay, now nobody want to tell me. They're just telling me to read my Bible and go to church and shit. Okay, all right, all right, all right. The three of them change character completely while performing. Yo. Oh my god, I love that explosiveness, bro. Yo. He has matching friendship tattoos with Wu Young. Amicus ad eris, a shortened version of Amicus usqui ad eris, meaning friends until the end. Oh, that's a tattoo he has with him? Say that one more time, no, Amicus. Ad eris, a shortened version of Amicus usqui ad eris, meaning friends. So when it come to that demon, that demon line, is this like a spell? Should I not repeat this shit? Or is it like, I, I don't know. It has become his and William's catchphrase. I'm good. Hot. Hot. Slate. This is Wu Young. Wu Young. Wu Young. Okay, okay. He bites. No. What? What? <laughs> he was also a trainee under Big Hit, but left after Yo Song, stating that they will either make it or fail together. Oh, that's fire. That's fire. Stating that we will either make it or fail together. That's fire, bro. That's He's got loyalty. one of the best laughs in the industry. <laughs> <laughs> bro, this is why him and Benny get along, man. Hey, <laughs> Tini. <laughs> Bro, that nigga is weak. He is weak. Bro, that nigga is weak. So, look, is he a vocalist or is he a rapper or does he do both? Because I know he can dance his ass off, bro. He was Studio Chum's Artist of the Month for June. Oh, that's tough. Oh, that's tough. He's a vocalist? Okay, he's a vocalist. Okay. He's a collector of people, including other people's parents and other idols. I'm gonna be live right now. I'm watching you. <laughs> oh, he's calling Chang Vin right now. Yo, 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 yo. I know. Oh, he's calling Chang Vin right now. Yo, 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 yo. Oh, Young Jump from TXT. Yo. Lastly, this is Jung Ho. Jung Ho, and he, I, you don't gotta tell me if he's a rapper or a vocalist. This thing is, he is different, bro. This is gonna be so crazy looking back at this, and like, once I do become like a hardcore 18 and seeing this journey, listen, this is gonna be the first time I do this. Future self, look back on this and just realize how far you've come, okay? As of right now, 
I don't know. I don't know if if Wu Young is signed. I can't. I, I can't tell. The, I don't. I can't tell the difference. I can't put the names with the faces. But I know right now, in the moment you're in right now, you can tell the difference between every single. And you and you can put names with faces. You know songs. Look at everybody in the chat right now. That's helping you along the way. That's guiding you. That's holding your hand along this journey. Well, all the way up until the point where you've been now. What that you've gotten to now. Just take it. Just take it in. All right. I appreciate y'all. And I hope I hope your feet don't stink still, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Find out a solution for that shit. I, I really like this guy right here, bro. His voice is amazing. His voice is amazing, bro. My stop staying still. My feet don't still st stop it. Stop it. Vocalist oh my God. Oh, he's the youngest? Yo. He was born in 2000? He's the youngest? That's crazy. That's crazy. I did not think he was the youngest. Yo. He's associated with apples because... Wow. We, didn't we just see earlier that he was doing this? What is so spectacular about him with fucking apples? I'm yeah, we just saw this clip earlier. He's the most chill, or rather, possibly the most normal one in the group. You need to break an apple singing now? I, I mean, I have in the past, but I'm, I'm not going to do it right now. Okay, okay. He is just chilling. Everybody else is losing their shit. Also never misses the chance to call someone out. <laughs> Yo! Why is he just, why is he out with people like this? Stylist decides how he should dress. Bro, nigga, chill, bro. Chill! What is he airing everybody out for? Bro, chill! <laughs> Bro, chill. <laughs> but Okay, okay, so why don't why don't why doesn't he get closer to them? Like why is he screaming at the top of his fucking lungs? Like why why did he he just get fucking closer? Why does he get closer to him? Even though I'm like that, thank you for embracing me. Oh so oh. 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 understand each other. Hey, TJ, we're It's an exercise. Okay. Good. Some other short fun stuff about ATs before I wrap this up. One month after debut, they performed on the street as zombies because what? What the freak? Why not? What the freak? Bro, I gotta watch this. Yo, what the? F after their alter egos got properly introduced with Hala Hala, they were lovingly named Halatees. This may not have been the official name for them, but it's been so ingrained that a tease also uses that name to refer to them. This performance video was released pre-debut, and they performed it at a lot of their first concerts. Which led to this unofficial but hilarious fan chant. Come again? <laughs> come, come again? Half of them were in the drama imitation. The drama imitation? I've never seen that before. That's also where this cursed song was born, and it is constantly clowned by both ATs themselves and fans.
<laughs> their friend and fellow KQ artist Maddox is the narrator for a few of their more story oriented Maddox, bro, that name sounds familiar. Tracks. Join us. What? Bro, is that, the, is, 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 is that what y'all talk about when it comes to that demon line shit? That sounded like it came from behind me. That sounded like it came from behind me. Wandering around with this unknown fever, Ooh. we now rise towards a new path. Ooh. What was that? After Hong Jung introduced his brother as the choreographer for his solo mama performance, fans fell so hard for him the Hong Jung jokingly regretted introducing him in the first place. <laughs> Whoever edits the vlogs at KQ needs a raise. Because of TikTok, I can no longer hear the end of the song Utopia. Damn, that sounded good. Because of TikTok, I can no longer hear the end of the song Utopia. Without immediately thinking it's going to be followed up by Baby Turn who the fuck? No. That just fucked it up. Is that it? Um, I'm ready. I'm ready to dive into the music, the compilations, everything. A lot of our YouTube family is probably gonna be like, when the fuck did you get in the 80s? Uh, cause they're probably not here in the chat here in the chat right now. I think this is gonna be fun, bro. And for everybody that thinks that like it's gonna be less BTS or stray kids content, no, I still have a lot of catching up to do with honestly, uh, well not BTS too, but re really, really with the Stray Kids. So th 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 that content, that content is going nowhere. I love those guys forever. I'm just, I think it's time for me to make a little bit more room for one more group. I'm excited, bro. A teeny loading, a teeny loading. Um, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for coming, coming out here and chilling with your boy. Um, I can't wait. I can't wait for the compilations. I can't wait for the TikToks. I can't wait for the shows. I can't wait for the music. I ain't trying to get emotional. I'm just giving you a hug. I ain't trying to get emotional on this motherfucker. I love you, all right? I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love y'all. Be safe out here. Now I get to say this now. Now, now I get to say this. Army stay dozens 18 forever fighting, all right? See you in the next video, fam. All right? What the fuck is wrong with so man? So man, what the fuck? Somebody gotta replace his batteries. First emoji is a horse. Okay, okay. Third emoji. Hold on, what was the? What was it? Oh shit! This ain't drop, is it? Is it? Somebody get Chan. This he got dementia. Somebody. This nigga, I ain't finna find himself on a highway. Did I tell you this is my motherfucking soul? I cannot. Come on, Jesus. Bro, isn't the Ant Pan Man like Mr. Potato Head cousin or some shit like that? Oh damn, hold on, hold on. That shit sounded really good. Bro, OSTs, bro. I haven't ran into a 
song for OST that I have not liked, bro. How they make these songs should be illegal. Oh my, bro, this shit does not need to be this good, bro. Somebody just hit so like, bro, this OST just said something. We just, bro, we need this song. Just make a song, please. That's it. This nigga took it upon himself to make it one of the best OST songs out there. 저 쓰러져도 손끝에 달리는 노래 뭐 뒤에 있는 쉬우니까 쭉 가볼까요? I I feel guilty seeing this shit. Like I feel like um, I feel like this this like I feel like I shouldn't be viewing this. You know what I'm saying? I feel like. Like, this is really into-